Virtual volleyball has been an opportunity in so many ways. Opportunity for emotional, personal growth, opportunity for education. You know, being from California, it's been an adventure to come out here to this coast and meet new people. It means everything that I've ever worked for in my entire life. It, plain and simple. It's it's both my parents raised me with volleyball and it's always been a part of my life, but it's been the biggest part of my life. All different environment and probably the biggest thing for me was just meeting a whole bunch of, you know, different groups of people and how all of us kind of like came together to, you know, we all had, you know, volleyball in common and athletics and being student athletes. So that was, that was pretty much like really cool for me. Yeah, it's, it's such an unbreakable bond. It's something that you, you can't find every day and, and many people don't find it. You know, I, I think a lot of athletic teams, when you leave after four years, your class that you graduate with are friends that you're gonna have for the rest of your life. And both of them, I tell them all the time, someday when I get married, they're gonna be in my wedding. You know, it's something where I just, I'm gonna wanna talk to them after school as much as I can. You know, Bree's, Bree and I hopefully will be both back in California so we get to see each other and not be too far. Steph, I wanna come visit as much as I can. It's just, it's something that I would make anything work in ways where I could see them for the rest of my life because I need to keep a connection with both of them because they just, they both have had like such an important role in my life so it's just a bond that you can't really break. Um, I would say we're definitely like family. Not necessarily like best friends, but if any of us need anything, like we've been through so much together, especially from my freshman year, we've changed. Like I know at least myself, I've changed so much and I feel like without them, my senior year wouldn't be much. Who's carries? Um, <laughs> she, she I don't, she's a lot of things. <laughs> she's, you know, she's, I don't know, she's just very, um, she's a, she's a good friend to have, you know. She's she's great on the court, and like she's you know she's just the same off the court, you know. She's the same person. <laughs> Steph is, in one word, a trooper. She has been fighting ever since she's got here. She's worked hard every day in practice, and she doesn't get a lot of court time, but it doesn't change the kind of player she is. I love Bree so much. She's been such a steady player and it's funny because I remember my freshman year I'll never forget this experience so I come in for preseason and we're about to start our first drill and Brie didn't know where to go like on the court I think it was certain rotation or something so I told her where to go she almost ripped my head off she yelled at me like tore me apart and I was just so out of it and I was like what just happened but it was so funny because at the time I didn't know the relationship I was going to develop with her in four years and you know she's she's such a big part of my life and and I love her to death and I look back at something like that and it just makes me laugh now so much because we're so close now that I would never even take that as anything personal you know it was just something that happened and of course we always get like that on the team you know there's going to be yelling there's going to be fighting but in the end at the end of the day they're like my sisters so I love her to death she's she's so funny <laughs> No, I'm trying not to think about it as best I can. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of bittersweet, you know. Can't really think about it because it makes me really emotional and like, I don't know. It's just don't want to get emotional, but every time I think about senior day and my parents flying out here, and it just it like starts to get to me because I have never been without volleyball, so I just don't really know what to do without it. Yes, actually on our bus ride home from Niagara, I look at my phone calendar just to see how long until I'm finally a normal student. And it was less than six weeks and I text Karen and I'm like, this is no time at all. Like, the real world is coming so fast and not even just the real world, but there's not going to be volleyball anymore. I'm not going to have my teammates to come joke around with. I'm not going to have the coaches. Like, it's really like you're losing a huge chunk of your life. You know, just we, you know, we don't win every game, you know, we don't beat teams 25-0, but just, you know, knowing that we play with pride and, like, we, we, we have, you know, the respect from, from everyone and our, all our fans and that, you know, we, like, people know that we work hard, like, we've worked hard the past four years every day, you know, to get to where we are right now.